Sandra Lucas, and I'm here at Jenny's Supper Club for my debut album release party. Yes, long way home. And we're here with Donna Briggs and D Briggs Media. Yes, <laughs> Media, baby. Fabulous Cassandra Lucas, how are you doing? Awesome, blessed, great, grateful. Look at this turnout at the Red Rooster in Harlem. Oh, yes, everyone. They love you. I, I can't, I'm just so, I don't even have anything to say. I'm just so grateful and so happy and excited all at the same time. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you so much. I've been at it at a, for a while and I can't believe I'm finally saying I have a debut album. <laughs> Your first, first album, the first, first one album. from Changing Faces. Yes, it is, and I've been talking about doing it for a while, but I finally did it. inspired you to do the album? I think it was time. Um, I feel like um, they're trying to say R&B died, and you know, I just think we needed this. We need music. We need we need a lot of those '90s artists, and they, they just need to get up off the couch. Don't believe what people are saying, and come back out and give us some some good stuff. Yeah. All the songs in your album? Yes, I did. Oh, wow! Yes. Congratulations! Yes, I did. Thank you. I did. Yes. So, what is your best track on the album? Oh my gosh, that's hard to say. So today it might be "World Go Round," and that is a retake slash remake on the stylistic song "People Make the World Go Round," but I put my own flavor on it. Yeah, yeah. for the title of your album just that long way home it was been a long time coming and I'm just it took me a while to get here but it had to come when it felt right so finally I found my way home which is back to music and back to being in love with it so you could co collaborate with anybody who would you collaborate with oh gosh a lot of people I mean from like Neo to Drake to Bruno Mars to all the girls I mean any girl artist, you know, because I'm just like a girl's girl. But um, yeah, there's a lot of people out there that I would collaborate because I listen to a little bit of everything. So you were with a group before. Are you guys still friends or how does that work? Well, yeah, well, I mean, everybody has to do what they have to do, you know, and you just wish everybody well. But this is my time just to do me and I'm just taking advantage of it. work with R. Kelly. Yes. Uh -huh. What exactly, do you, how do you feel about that situation? Oh gosh, I feel sad on all ends. It's, it's just a sad situation um, and I feel sad for anybody if they had to go through that kind of stuff. But as far as we're concerned, I always tell people, I can only tell you how he treated us, which was great, great, yes. And I have, I can't, you know. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't had a bad experience with him either. Yes, I've been knowing him for years. Yes. It's like, 
He treated me good. So I feel bad for anybody that did, and I pray, I'm praying, you know, for their well-being and and just all around. It's just a sad situation. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming over. Follow me on Instagram at I am Donna Briggs underscore or Twitter Donna Briggs 10. And remember, make every day a great day.